everybody. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, February 12th. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Let's see. February 12th. Yes. I always try to say that at the beginning because I know that these get kind of lost um, on Facebook and people start watching them later. I have a whole bunch of saved live videos and I can never tell when they were done. I always have to double check all of that. All right. Well, hello. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Thanks for jumping on with me this afternoon. As soon as I can see myself, um, I just want to make sure that I can see your comments um, better on uh, my iPad. We'll get started. I have some really exciting stuff to show you today. Brand new, um, not even available to order quite yet, um, but I think you're really going to like them. Hello, everybody. You know, every time I start Tuesday's Live, I forget to pick out a prize. I forget. And I want to give you guys a prize. I've already seen, Debbie's already like shared, I've shared the video, and I really appreciate that. Um, so thank you. I will have a stamp set to give to you guys on Friday during my Facebook Live on Friday. I do Facebook Lives on Tuesday here and Friday over on my group page and I give prizes away for those who share. I draw names. So thank you for sharing and I will have a prize for you. I just don't know why I can't remember to pull it out. I always have them on Fridays. All right, so today I'm going to talk to you about Celebration Second Release. This is a new pamphlet. Let's look at, we all probably have seen this a thousand times. This is the current celebration brochure. Um, has all the, you know, the frogs and um, the ribbon that's on back order, the foil paper, um, the butterfly paper, all of that. That's all the stuff you've been seeing for a month now. Um, but starting on Friday, Friday, February 15th will be the halfway point for celebration. It'll be halfway over. Um, and Stampin' Up! has added things um, to make it even better. Some of us may feel like, oh, I've got all the things I want. I don't need to get anything. Um, but then Stampin' Up! brings out new things. They do that to us, don't they? And we have to have them. And these three items are really cool. Uh, I'm gonna, when I flip the camera over, I'm gonna show you. Uh, we have three choices and one of them is a bundle. So anyways, this is the pamphlet that goes now in conjunction with this. Um, so not only will you have these items to still choose from, you will now have three more items to choose from. And then there's a whole thing starting March 1st, but I'll tell you about that in a little while. Um, so it looks like most of you guys are here. You've joined us. Um, I'm trying to think where I want to start. I have so many things to tell you. Real quick, I'm going to give you a shout. You know, while I am turning the camera around, I am going to, let's see, everybody close your eyes for about 20 seconds as I flip this around. Um, while I transition, you're gonna see down here my current class to go, sweetest thing, tomorrow I close the registration and begin preparations. So if you have been wanting this class to go, please, please, please don't let the deadline pass you by. Every time, Every single time I have a class to go, I get a handful of emails, you know, four, five, six, seven days later wanting it. And I cut all of them at the same time. I order all of them at the same time. Um, so if you miss the deadline, you miss the deadline. Occasionally I will have a couple of extras, but typically I don't. So if you want this class to go, make sure you click on the link at the top of this video, as soon as I am done, I will add the link and go over and um, register. There's four choices. One choice includes the stamps and framelit. Where are the framelits? Right here. And if you don't have this, you have to have this. Um, by the way, my downline Susan told me last night at our meeting that she made the little uh, Viewmaster card. You know the one I did two weeks ago, the Viewmaster with the little flies that went around? She made it with this. And I thought that was so cute. So Susan, if you're watching, thank you for sharing. I thought that was a great idea. Um, this is a great set to have, birthdays, just all year. I think it's great. Um, the class to go has five projects and two bonus tutorials. You'll get an eighth of a pack of paper. Um, you'll get a bolt of ribbon. Um, option one includes the bundle. Option two does not include the bundle. Option three is PDF only, and that's an immediate 
download. So, and, and by the way, that PDF will be available indefinitely. My PDFs stay in my store forever. So if you want the PDF later on, there's no problem. You can get that. Just the class kit tomorrow is the very last day. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's, before I bring everything in, let's talk about the choices. Now I broke a nail yesterday so badly that I don't want you guys to look at it. <laughs> So do not look at my nail. I was opening a pack of paper, like a big pack of printer paper, and it was a nightmare. So I'm just putting it out there. You guys can say ugly things about my finger now, but just know it hurts. Okay, celebration. This is what we have. This is what we will have beginning Friday, okay? And three choices. Our celebration um, offerings two different levels, free with a $50 purchase and then free with a $100 purchase. So this is the same. We've got two level ones, which are free with a $50 purchase, and one level two that is free with a $100 purchase. So, and you know what? Honestly, you guys, I have spent all my time really loving this, which is what we're gonna use today. And I thought I would use all of this on Friday's projects too, but now I'm thinking that maybe I should do one from each. I don't know. I played a whole bunch with all of it um, last week. And truly, it's it's really, really cool. Um, so I don't know. You guys tell me what you want. Um, do you want one of each? Do you want me to stick with one and then use the others later? I don't know. You tell me. Um, give me some feedback. Help me make a decision. The first one is called the All Adorned Stamp Set. And it looks like this. Um, at first glance, you're like, okay, hmm. but guess what? It was designed to be used with a Stamparatus. This is one of those corner stamps where you rotate your paper and you get it in all four corners. Okay, does that make sense? Those of you that have a Stamparatus know what I'm talking about. This one and this one um, are uh, designed to go on top of each other and to do the hinge step. So, I had all these in a, in order. I don't know how I got them out of order. So here is a card using that hinge step. Um, I did a bunch of them. Um, I actually moved the stamp and did the hinge step three different times. You can see how they're layered. Isn't that fun? Um, here is one where I just did in the corners. I didn't do a square, but I did a rectangle and I still was able to rotate my paper and put a stamp in each corner. And then this one was me wanting to do something different with this stamp right here. I thought if we, instead of putting it in the corner, if we flipped it, we could make a pedestal. But then I realized, well, look how cool that is if we put all four like that. So that was kind of fun to just mess around with the stamp rats and see what I could get, see what kind of patterns I could get. Um, this is a really neat stamp set. At first glance, I, I don't think, I think it's kind of, um, misleading you think man it's all right but it really makes some really cool patterns and designs and of course has three really great sentiments okay so that's option one in the new offering and it is free with a fifty dollar purchase option two is a an embossed embossing folder and it's one of the thick ones let me look at the name it's always long dynamic textured impressions embossing folder so it's a thick embossing folder it creates a real deep image it's called country floral and this image right here really captured my interest they've embossed it and then they've colored the flowers so i did that and i will tell you that it is not as easy <laughs> as what it looks like now saying that i don't mean that it's hard it just takes a long time um, and then you, um, when you watercolor it, those colors bleed out and there's quite a few flowers on there. So I absolutely love the final, um, the final product that I came up with. And I was kind of thinking about maybe doing this or something similar on Friday. Um, and look, I used the retired gold again. I can't believe I didn't know that gold shimmer retired, man. Now I'm just using it a ton too. So anyway, there's the folder painted. At my team meeting last night, we did a lot of talking about this sample. I'm gonna link you guys to this brochure when I'm done with this video so you can see closer um, these things. Um, we think maybe that was colored with blends. So I think this afternoon I'm gonna try it with blends. Um, but this also, <laughs> if my mom is watching, this reminds me of my wallpaper when I was a little girl and we lived in Arlington, Texas. My wallpaper was very similar to this. <laughs> 
this, um, the early 80s, you know. Um, Anita is asking, could you market the embossing folder? I don't know. That's something we talked about last night too. And I'm going to play around with it and I will let you know um, because I have inked embossing folders too. Um, with great success. So I don't know, we'll just have to play with it and see. It's a really, really beautiful embossing folder. I don't know if the embossing folder is going to carry over. You know, sometimes these products do carry over into the next catalog. Um, I don't know about this one. I They may have said it and it may say in here, um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, if I had to guess, I would say yes. Now here's one I did where I just left it white and I actually used the shimmer white cardstock that I use for watercoloring. I had it out and I thought, well, let's just do that. And I made it kind of shimmery. And then these are from the, oh, blah, 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 what's it called? Tea Together stamp set. You know, the, the little teapot set that I love so much. Um, so I just thought that was really pretty. And then a pretty like a wedding card. So it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to spend 15 minutes coloring it. You just do it white. And I'll tell you that circle after I punched it out, it was kind of sitting over on my desk and it kept catching my attention. It was so pretty. So really, really pretty. Let's see, I did one more somewhere in here also with that tea together. So I did it just in the background, like inside a window. I will be posting pictures of these on my blog next week. So you'll be able to see them uh, much better. But today I'm just kind of giving you a little preview, okay? Okay, so that's... Option two, free with a $50 purchase. Option three is a level two option. Here it is, it is a bundle. Stamp set and designer series paper. And this does not do it justice. I can tell you right now that this paper is gorgeous. The stamp set is really fun, just some basic images that coordinate with the paper. And you're gonna see how I'm gonna use it today really helps with um, just kind of tying it all together. This is my favorite pattern from the whole pack, this little mushroom. These are hand-painted images. You can tell that these were hand-painted probably by an artist at the Stampin' Up! home office. And, hi Terry, hi Vicki. Um, look at the back, a great pattern. Sometimes these are too busy. And so Stampin' Up! puts a more simple pattern on the back. It's easier to work with sometimes. But they also, look, they also coordinate really well together. I love this. This is Poppy Parade. All right, so that's, let's see, you get one, two, three sheets of that. Then you get three sheets of this succulents. Super hot right now. If you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, hopefully your succulent kit is on the way. And on the back, this is Petal Pink. And it coordinates too. There's actually little Petal Pink um, drops in there too, um, which is really cool. I did a card with that. And Petal Pink's not one of my favorite colors, but I really like it with that paper, with that succulent, um, those colors. Okay, so three sheets of that. And then this one, which is I think the one that's getting the most attention for all the samples I've seen online. Um, this, and then on the back is just a, hmm, what color is that? Probably Pool Party. The colors in this paper are Call, Call Me Clover, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Grapefruit Grove, Lemon Lime Twist, Mango Melody, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Whisper White. So this is, I don't know, it looks maybe like, um, it's Call Me Clover, but kind of diluted a little bit. And that goes with that. And then there's one more. So all together you're getting 12 pieces. This one, and I automatically go to Christmas. Like, oh, this is, this is great Christmas paper. Pine cone, you know, green pine, what do you call those, you guys? Boughs, a pine stem, I don't know. And then some red berries. But it doesn't have to be Christmas. I made a card with it that is not Christmas. And the color on the back is pool party. And these little, these little pine needles are a bunch of different colors. And one of the colors in there is that pool party. So that is the paper, hand painted, beautiful. This is my most favorite. I made a swap card for my team meeting last night and I don't really wanna show it to you because I want to make it on Friday. Well, I'll show it to you. Look, I used the hedgehog. Isn't it cute? From, oh, what's that called? Hugs. Um, it's in the annual catalog. Now, this is a sneak peek stamp set that I'll tell you a little bit more about. It's coming in March. But you can see I cut the mushrooms. I did some stamping. There's a branch from the seasonal layers. And look at the paper. I just love, love, love the paper. Um, Here's one with a pine cone, not Christmas. And here's one with the flowers. 
And here's the succulents, and we're probably going to make these on Friday, so pretend like they're brand new and you have never seen them. <laughs> okay, so that is option two. Now, all of these options, option one, option two, option three, are being added to, where's the other brochure, to everything else that's being offered during celebration. It's just being added to it. So two more $50 choices, free with a $50 order, and one more $100 choice. Now I'm going to show you today a project that uses this with some things that will get you to $100. I mean, you guys know. It's not hard um, getting an order to $100, but the, the things that I'm using in this project today will easily get you there. Just FYI, this ribbon is on back order here in the United States. I know it's different in every market, but right now it's on back order, and it says February 18th. I know they've already shipped some of the back orders out. I got some of mine. Um, there's apparently some congestion in the ports, which means everything coming from China is having a long, slow ride to the United States. Um, so it's coming and it will be turned back on soon so that we can order it. I really want to use it for my Easter class, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get our hands on it enough. I don't know how quickly it will sell out. So if you want that ribbon, start watching on the 18th. I don't know if that's the day they're going to turn the number back on so we can start ordering it. It just that's the kind of the vague date they've given us for that. And the foil, you guys know, is it's not expected to last till the end of March, as well as that precious parcel card kit. Okay, so that's that. So what I'm going to make, I made these little Ghirardelli. Oh, wait. Well, no. Okay, I'll tell you that in a second. These little Ghirardelli um, chocolate holders chocolate folder I don't know look it just slides right in there I have been wanting to do something with the stitched rectangles um, turning it into something so that's what I did today I made you can see the stitching on there and I I'm going to show you how to score it and it'll hold a Ghirardelli these Ghirardellis um, I got they're um, out for Valentine's Day white chocolate creme brulee and they are really good the only reason I know is that my daughter came in, ripped into one, and just started eating it. And I was like, hey, okay, well, give me a bite at least so I know what it tastes like. And they're very good. But they're Valentine's, I think, only. I think they're going to go away. But look how nicely they go. They're petal pink. So those three were perfect for petal pink. But this one, I pulled out a gold one. I thought gold went better with that one. Okay, so what we're going to do... Before I show you that, let me show you the other thing. Not to confuse you... No, I'm going to wait until the end. Remind me at the end to show you the thing I want to tell you. If I forget, tell me to show you the thing that I wanted to show you. <laughs> okay, so what we're using, the stitch rectangles are right here, um, page 28 of the Cajuns catalog. If you buy them with this awesome stamp set, you save 10%. Um, the bundle is $50.25, so kind of a higher priced item. So right there, you're already at $50. Um, and why... You know, if you're going to buy the framelits, I think you should get the stamp set too because then you're saving 10% on both of them. Um, I think that's a great deal. And this is a great stamp set. So you're there. You've got that. The other thing that I am using is the Itty Bitty Greetings. This is on page 46 of your annual catalog. And these are just every sentiment that you're going to need. Um, I used several of them. I used a little hello. Um, that one would be good, sent with love. Um, hey friend, what else did I use? A little hello, hey friend, many thanks, and happy day. I mean, just, you know, general, basic sentiments. But then there's also one for Halloween, one for Easter, one for baby. So uh, if you add this on, that's another $36. So now you're really close. You're like $14 away from being able to get this painted seasons for free. Um, so, you know, what, what can you get, what can you add on? You can add on adhesive, you can add on the inks that I'm gonna use, you can add on the linen thread, and then boom, you're at $100, and you're gonna get the Painted Season stamp set and the paper for free. But you have to wait until Friday, okay? It's not gonna give you the option until Friday. So don't run right now and go or try to order it and then come and get mad at me because I, it's not until Friday, okay? Okay, so let's make two, I'm gonna make two of these. We're gonna make 
I don't know. You know what? Look, I know it's not Christmas and it says happy day, but how cute would that be at Christmas time? And you could use one of our little pine, um, you know, our pine framelits. I packed all my Christmas framelits away. Otherwise, I would have done that. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you how easy it is to make these. I used this rectangle framelit. And if you have the rectangle framelits, you know that there's a ton of them in there. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what the size is. And this is over on my blog. You can hop over there and find the exact measurement. This framelit is like, and I say like, <laughs> because it depends on if you're on the inside edge, the cutting edge or the outside edge. But it's the one that's about four and three fourths and three and a half, okay? Four and three fourths, three and a half. So I have already done that. We're gonna make two. Um, Poppy Parade. You're gonna, you're gonna put it on your Simply Scored. Let me get my cheat sheet. This is all over on my blog, don't worry. I'm gonna add the link up at the top when I'm done. You're gonna score it at three fourths and one, and then three and three fourths and four. Turn it and score it at one and one and a fourth, okay? So now we're gonna do this one. This is Mango Melody. And if you guys haven't ordered anything Mango Melody yet, you need to. It's a great color. It's this weird in between orange and yellow. And it's just really a good color. Um, and it's in this paper. So that will help you get to your $100. Okay, I'm talking three fourths and one, three and three fourths and four. Okay, now before I forget, because I forgot until I did the very last one, I'm actually gonna stamp on here. I did see this one, see how I did that? Someone tell me, what, what do we call this? A fern, a leaf, a bough, what are we calling this? I don't know what to call it, the foliage. That's too, that's too wordy, foliage. Someone's gotta have a name. Yes, Carla, I see you, yes. We need, you know what, I hope my measurements are right. Yeah, okay, we need ribbon in this color. You are absolutely right. This is such a good color, and especially in the fall, I really think that we do. We definitely need ribbon, and I bet we'll get ribbon in the, um, maybe in the next catalog or in the fall catalog. Okay, so I'm just randomly, what are you saying, fern, leaf, fern? Okay, so you guys agree with me, fern. Okay, I thought that was kind of dumb that I was saying fern, but you guys agree with me, so we're gonna stick with it. Okay, let's see, yep, that looks good. Let's move that. I need to get my chamois because we're gonna use these a couple of times for different things. A chamois, if you ha do not have a chamois, you can add that onto your list. That's $11 and then you're really close. Okay, now get your, get your rectangles that you've stamped and you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut out these bottom corners. Okay, all of it up to the top little score line there. Okay. You guys, the sun is out here today. It has not been out in a very long time. And you know, I really don't wanna complain about weather because we have great weather here in South Texas, except for the summer. <laughs> but my gosh, it has been just disgusting for a very long time. And so we finally have some sunny weather and I, I just feel like I have a pep in my step today. What a huge difference it makes. My poor daughter, my sixth grader, was like an emotional wreck yesterday. She came home from school super upset and she didn't know why she was upset, she was just upset. And I know it has to do with the weather. We're not used to like cloudy, 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 drizzly, damp, you know, days and days and days on end. So you guys up in the north, I feel for you in the winter, it's hard. So you have to feel for me in the summer when it is brutally hot and we can't go outside because it's so hot. <laughs> okay, so I hope you saw what I did. I just um, scored or burnished all those lines with my bone folder and I was gonna grab a few more Ghirardellis. I do have them here. I don't have another gold one, but I do have, this is what they look like. See, it does say Valentine's White Chocolate Creme Brulee. P frond, Janet Palm Frond. I was using that word 
um, when we did, oh, I forgot the paper here. I was using that word when we, um, when I was typing up directions for the, you know, the set in the catalog that has um, the tropical stuff. So Fraun, that's what I was trying to think of today. One thing I forgot to do, you guys, is the paper in the background. So let's cut that paper. I'm taking the same color paper and I'm going to do just a piece to go inside of here. So I need to add these measurements to my block. This is gonna be one, two, and about five eighths, and one and seven eighths. All right, so one and seven eighths by two. I hope that was right. Two and five eighths. All right, there's that one. And then one and seven eighths by two and five eighths. Kim, you don't have Ghirardelli's in the UK? That's interesting. That is interesting. Ghirardelli's seems so um, universal to me. Just seems like you would have those everywhere. I don't really eat Ghirardelli's. <laughs> My teenager came home one day and she was like, I tried the best chocolate today. Oh, I did the wrong side. That's all right, we're gonna go with it. I tried the best chocolates ever today. They're called Ghirardelli. Like, like I had never heard of them. You know, like she's all cultured and fancy at her 16 years of age. And then we went to Target and she was like, these are the best. I only like these. And I was like, oh, okay, fancy pants. Y'all teenagers, I'm telling you. <sighs> okay, so see what I did? I put that paper in there like that. And now I'm gonna take my Ghirardelli and I'm gonna fold this up and get it all squared up. And I'm going to put either Fast Fuse, if you have any left, or tear and tape, or if you like liquid glue, you can use liquid glue, but I don't think I would use snail on that. I'm pretty sure those would fall apart. The chocolates that I love the best, if we're just talking chocolate, are the Dove chocolates. Those are amazing. I mean, I believe me, I don't turn down chocolate very often, but <laughs> if, I, if I'm gonna pick something really good, it's gonna be a Dove chocolate. All right, so there we go. Basic holder, right? Cute, easy, but just kind of fun. All right, so now I have cut a strip of each of those DSPs, and they are three quarters by, let's see, by about, I'm saying about because I didn't measure. I think it's about eight inches. We just want it to wrap around like that. And this one's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna snip it right there. Hello, everybody who has just joined. Let's see. Now, you know, what you could do if you have a chocolate, put it on your on your rectangle, on your Simply Scored, and just score those lines there, you know, and figure out the width. That would be the next line out that you would score out. Turn it, score it al along the, the height of the chocolate. Same thing, you know, I think it's pretty easy to figure out. All right, so now this one with the flowers, we'll put that there and wrap that around. Uh-oh, I gotta put more adhesive. This is also a fun way if you're a demonstrator and you wanna just make something fun for your class, these would be good and easy to make for your class. All right, now let's use the stamps. Of course, I didn't get my white paper. So we're gonna stamp the poppy. Is that a poppy? I don't know. The flower, we're gonna say the flower. We're gonna stamp the flower in Poppy Parade. Now, this is a distinctive stamp, which means it looks like it's flat, but it's been like laser etched so that you get all this dimension. If your ink pad isn't just right, sometimes these are a little bit harder to get a good image. And I can see around the edges right here, it was a little bit too inky. So when I was at on stage, my friend Ange McKay said on stage to take your bone folder and just scrape off some of that ink and try again. And lo and behold, it typically works pretty good. Still getting that right there. 
But for the most part, that is better. You can see when you have less ink on the stamp, you get a better image with the dimension. Okay, so let's clean it with our Simply Chamois. And we're gonna stamp it again, this time in soft suede. Now, here's my dilemma, you guys. I wanna show you this stuff because it's beautiful and gorgeous. However, there is something coming out on March 1st that's going to make this stamp set even better for you. Okay, I'm stamping the palm frond or whatever it is in Poppy Parade. And then I'm stamping it again in Mango Melody just to let you know what I'm doing while I talk. Okay, so now we have to fussy cut. Uh oh, wait, I forgot the leaf. We have to fussy cut this because there's no framelits, right? We don't have any framelits. However, guess what's coming out on March 1st? Something called Celebration Coordination. Look at that. Uh, and that's just gonna give you even more opportunity to use this stamp set because we are more likely we're more likely to use it if we have matching framelits, right? Okay, so that's the thing I wanna tell you more about at the end when we're all done with this project. So for now, I'm not gonna use the framelits because I wanna show you how you can do this without the framelits. And there's gonna be some of you that are gonna say, nope, I am not fussy cutting that, lady, you're crazy. Nope, not gonna do it. And I'm gonna say, no problem. Just wait till March 1st and you won't have to fussy cut them anymore. So while I'm chit chatting, because it's gonna take me a few minutes to fussy cut these, I want you guys to see, I'm just going around the edges, just, you know, nothing in particular, just kind of around, leaving a cloud there. So let me pull this over here while I'm cutting and you can see it's called Celebration Coordination and there are gonna be six items that are available only in March and they're not free like celebration items. They are items that you can purchase to go along with your free celebration items. Um, like this, um, the framelits for this stamp set. Also, I mentioned to you guys a couple of weeks ago, so hoppy together, you know the frogs. There is a stamp set that goes with the frogs. Um, and uh, did I say stamp set? Framelit set that go with the frogs. I'm trying to, to do this and think about other things and that's very difficult. Um, so there's going to be four framelit sets that coordinate with um, celebration items. There's also going to be a stamp set of sentiments that coordinate with celebration sentiments or celebration stamp sets like there's um, sentiments to go with the frogs, there's sentiments to go with the cupcakes, there's sentiments that go with other sentiments. It's, it's really a, a neat little um, stamp set. And then the sixth item in celebration coordination, available March 1st, where did all my things go? Here they are, is a punch, a really good punch, a really good punch. Um, and it, it is going to really, you're gonna, you're gonna want it because it's a punch that's, that's a big shape. I feel like if we ever want something that's a little bit big, we have to go to our framelits. And if you're like me, you love when you have a punch and you don't have to use a framelit. So it's a good one. It, it, I feel like it's one of the bigger shaped punches that we've had before. Okay, now I'm gonna stop talking for just a second and show you what I'm gonna do to this flower. So there's our flower that we stamped. Remember we stamped this one? Well, all I'm gonna do here is cut out this thing in the middle that looks just like an eyeball. <laughs> and we're gonna put it in the middle of our flower. Okay. You know, I don't mind fussy cutting. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes if I have a lot of little things that need to be cut out, I would prefer to fussy cut them out. I think it's faster than trying to line them up. See how I just put that right there? Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. We need one more of these. Where did I put it? Um, let me switch this paper over while I'm frantically looking. Whatever, we can just use one if I need to. Here is all the things. Whoops, sorry about that. Here are, here's the 
the sentiments. It's called More Than Words. And then the, here it is. And then here are the framelits down here and the punch. But I don't want to spend too much time on this stuff today. I just want you to have a heads up knowing that it's coming March 1st and it will be only available until the end of celebration, which is March 31st, because all the celebration items that these coordinate with then go away too. So if you want to get more bang from your free items, if you wanna add value to those things that didn't cost you anything, here is a way to do that. You basically are going to just get the framelits that match them or the punch or the stamp set. Um, they will most likely be while well supplies last too. So if you're feeling like those are right up your alley, make sure that you um, look at those on the 1st of March. All right, and I'm going, March 1st is a Friday, so that will be that day, my Facebook Friday will be all about those products, okay? All right, so now I've got my paper on here, I've got my images cut out, I'm gonna take some linen thread and I'm just gonna kind of wrap it like mm, three times maybe around that and tie it. So that was the thing I was gonna say, remind me to tell you guys about. So now you don't have to remind me, I remembered. All right, linen thread, let's fix that. Let's fix that and let's do this one. The little mushrooms on this paper are so stinking cute. And if I am remembering correctly, the hedgehog stamp set has mushrooms. Am I right? Am I remembering that correctly? The little, why can't hedgehog hugs, hedgehogs, hedgehogs. Is that what it's called? I think hedgehogs. It's cute. Okay, I hear UPS coming and today the dogs are locked up. So they can bark all they want. And hopefully we won't hear them. I don't know, maybe we will hear them. All right, so now we're gonna get the little tiny rectangles. These are from the stitched rectangles. And I cut out, it's the very smallest one um, in Whisper White. And I'm gonna use the sentiment from Itty Bitty Greetings. I'm just gonna use Happy Day. And I'm gonna put that right there. And let's see, I'm gonna do one on this side. You could actually probably get two from one, right? Because they're so itty bitty. <laughs> All right, let's add the little poppy. Is that a poppy? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, I think I want it over here with the bow, but I don't know. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think I will put it there. And then I'm gonna cut this off and add, oh, can you hear them? They're actually locked away. And there's two doors between us. Stinking loud dogs. All right, so put that there. And then let's get those little, these were the, the leaves that I stamped in crumb cake. Nope, in soft suede on crumb cake. And we're just gonna add them poking out back here like this. All right, there's our first one. And then this guy, these guys, we're gonna get these fronds. Fronds or ferns, whichever you wanna call it. I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back. Yes, I am using up the last bit of this sheet of dimensionals. Where did it go? I had it stuck to my finger. Where did it go? Oh, and here it is. Like that. And I'm gonna put, let's see, one kind of going over that way, and then this one kind of overlapping it like that. And then let's take this one, snip that off, put a little fast fuse, and there we go. And there you have it. Cute, cute. This Painted Season stamp set is really, um, I think, one you'll use all year. You know, this looks a little fallish to me, but not necessarily. Um, this, uh, these could be used any time of the year. Succulents, that would be great in summer. And then of course, the one that I think looks Christmassy, although it doesn't have to be Christmassy. All right, so there you go, you guys. I hope you like this project and I hope you're excited about this new stamp set. Um, Cheryl, you say it's a dogwood bloom. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for it because I have no idea what a dogwood looks like. Um, let's see. 
Um, hello, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Yes, Sarah, new dyes. We all love new dyes and new punches. <laughs> Kathy, I'm glad. Yes, I know when you like when someone else figures out the measurements. I know. It is nice. I, I like that, too. Um, let's see. Some hotel chocolate. Okay, Kim. I have to know what hotel chocolate is. Let's see. All right, all right. I don't think I missed anything too terribly pressing. So I will go back in a little while and make sure and answer any of your questions that you might have. All right, so class, I'm jumping back into my teacher days. When does this, when does this become available? When does the Painted Seasons bundle become available? Is it available today? No. It's available on Friday, February 15th. All right, so we're reviewing because, you know, once a teacher, always a teacher. And the Painted Seasons bundle is the paper, 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper and the stamp set. It is free with a $100 purchase. Okay, no, March 1st is not the right answer. <laughs> March 1st is when these come out and these cost money. These are not free. Okay, I know it's confusing you guys, but you'll get it. Whatever's available on the website is what's available, right? Just go over to the store and that's when you'll know what's available. <laughs> that's what I do sometimes. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you will um, join me on Friday over at Pink Buckaroo Stampers Group. If you haven't joined, click the link at the top of this video in five minutes when I add it and join because it's just another group. It's not anything that you have to qualify for. It's just a group and you will um, be more likely to see what I post if you're part of the group um, because Facebook likes to show things in groups uh, more than they like to show things on pages, which is where we, at, we are at. And I will have more projects on Friday with the new celebration second release products. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I um, appreciate you joining me and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.